Hello and welcome back to a new video. So today you saw the release of Elite Dungeons um, and my first impression is that it's not very challenging but some of the bosses have a few little mini mechanics uh, that I thought I guess I will uh, outline for those struggling or just wanting to know the mechanics and the best way of doing them. So the first is the Sanctum Guardian. Now yes you might recognize this is a reskinned Claudia from some of the beach events but it does have a little bit more um, mechanics and things than Claudia did. To start with, he does uh, some range attacks, and they're actually just locational range attacks, so you can basically move side to side and not get hit by them. The second, after th uh, I think it's four of those range attacks, he then sort of dips down, uh, and that's going to tell you that he's going to do one quite hard-hitting melee attack. So you can either just flick your prayer to, to melee, or just res it, or devotion, or all, uh, all those kinds of things are good. After that, then, he will do this sort of um, rotational... Thing, which goes I believe anti-clockwise uh, if your um, compass is facing north all you want to do is start on the uh, east side of wh where you can see me start on screen and then when he starts to spin have your sun start in your left hand side of your spin or your east side and then just move into the west and that's all that happens on the first rotation that's it however on the second and continuously onwards from then as you'll see on the screen he then gives you a timer above your head after you get that melee hit and that is the timer for the purple smoke as you can see on the screen i just placed this at well out of the way um, and i sort of use surge and bladed dive to get back to where i originally want to be um, the longer your kill obviously the more purple smokes you're going to get so just be aware of where you place them don't you know get sloppy and what have you the, this is basically the whole boss, um, DPS it down, and obviously the faster you do it, the less of these rotations you'll get. I just recommend resunning, uh, use a titan if you, once you get comfortable, and you can summoning pot, do all the rest of it, all that good stuff. This kill is just a very average um, DPS kill, just to show you roughly what to do without using any food, all that kind of jazz. Um, and he will spawn some minions in the last, I think it's 50k or 75k or something, but I just completely ignored them and continued DPSing because they don't really hit you. They have like 10k life points, kill them as you wish. Um, that's it for this one, and I will see you back for the next boss, which is Masuta the Ascended.